I think if you just go ahead and start, that'll be fine. Okay. I'll try and get this up. So I will draw some kind of a map how the what, what things were happening uh, since the 1997. I started yes. writing my own computer for the so-called I language. This is not important what kind of language it was, that I even don't remember myself. It was some kind of middle level language, something that but however, I never finished that computer, but I finished the part of it that was uh, assembling the instructions, assembling instructions. And so then I took this on the part and called it ASM32. And this was my first assembler. It was about September the same year. And then in 1998, I used my assembler to write the first version of my own operating system, Titan yes. This was ver version 001. And it was just about setting up protected mode paging some video mode and nothing more. Also in the same year I wrote my own DOS extender, it was called HDOS. And with this extender I started to the flat assembler project. So flat assembler was working in protected mode using this extender. Well, what kind of extender? DP, uh, DPMI? Just protected mm -hmm. interface or your own? More. Interface or? DPMI and more. Uh, mm -hmm. Functions for files, so-called true DPMI. Yes. The same as Windows has. Mm -hmm. This is the extended cost for creating, writing files, etc. And so, from this Two projects, the first one born. This was 1999. And there was uh, even exact date they preserved uh, when it was started. Mm, it was, I don't know, once posted in the forum. It was March. At this exact hour. <laughs> <laughs> right, we shall have ourselves a new holiday. <laughs> I started this in DOS Navigator, and in Text Editor, there, there was an option to insert the current time, so I used it to mark the point when I started writing it. <laughs> That's why this is known. And this was the third version. I will mark it with P letter. This is my main private or prototype. Because this version number was later used uh, also as an official release, but it was not the same. Yes. It was April. And later the same year, There was also SMP 1.0. And this was a version used for only my own purposes. Are there any questions there? <laughs>
Když budu přečíst, co spíše hajdu. Hej, nehajdu. Uh, this was a beginning of new era. Ale já jsem se to vašel. I don't think there's any questions, just some comments. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hajduk says this was a beginning of new era. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this very first pass, uh, version 09, it was the first version that was I able to reassemble itself. And this pass had only two modules, preprocess and assembler. There was no parser at the time. So the assembler was quite slow because it was assembling on text. It yes. passed it mm-hmm. And it had only binary output. Yes. No real capable comments. And this pass one zero from this line, private line, was able to output uh, so-called HF format. This was relocatable format that supported dynamic linking, and it was format for my operating system. Yes. And so this was used to make a new version of Python. Oh, there was also. Flat editor, also created for this operating system. The version zero ten. It was about the last time I had it and lost. Who was the only thing? Yes, that's something like that. <laughs> and then came the official history. The first official date is 2000. This was 09 dot uh, officially released to the internet. I announced it both on the FreeDOS group. Oh, we have a question here. Uh, Arafel says the very first version of FASM 1997, what assembler was used to assemble it? Oh, this, uh, this was not FASM, but the previous assembler that was used to create FASM, but it was not FASM itself. And this assembler was created with uh, Turbo Assembler. Just wondering what were the differences between SM32 and SM32? Or what was SM32? It was generally mm, a subset of the functionality. Yes, just uh, it took instructions and was speed command. And without an extender, yeah. Mm, it used the different extender, not mine. Yeah. And it had not. Uh, there was no such uh, things like virtual, right. etc. Only, only things uh, that I used in FASM were moved. Mm-hmm. It was FASM that started some new things. Oh, and this version that I released officially, I didn't want to release my extender. That's why I changed it to use flat real mode instead. And so this is basically, basically the same version as this, with this one change that instead of extender, there was flat real mode. No, precisely on your mode. Let's see if I need Oh, uh, it became on remote later. It was, it it was you had 66 six. prefixes everywhere. And yes. I agree. <laughs> that was happening. And then was plus one zero, and it was completely different one zero and then this one. this one was with additional output format for operating system mm-hmm. and still on this extender and this one's a new continuation of that's zero nine of the show and it introduced two most important things uh, parser it was the first one to have parser and formatter modules including the DOS format 
So, the everything across the sync, you convert the pure text into a list of symbols. Yeah, we don't need them. So, so uh, this was happening. This also uh, was the first time it was at this version. Yes. The 09 was already on pure text. Mm -hmm. And so it was slow. Yes. Oh, and this was. The date of release of Passman Zero was the same as is my birthday. Yeah, that's right. Which is. Mm -hmm. I'll see you with Titan Boss. Wait, I will. So again. No, you again turn. What's on. the name of the OS? Is it downloadable? Old operating can, system, yes it is. You can type it on the message board. Yes. Uh, I think you could focus uh, better on the text. Yeah. I believe they can't read it more. Yeah, and I have because that. Because the name Tatanov is there. I think it's going to be hard to fit everything <laughs> here. You can flip, flip the jar. Um, do some people want to look at it or can I fit it right now? Let me um, focus on it for a second and then... Um I think it's okay now.
Nie działa się z kolei, a chcieliśmy powiedzieć do tego, że była wiesz, konferencja taka, nie ma DNS. DNS here doesn't work the way. Something with DHCP. So in my scanner needs to set up his internet connection because our DNS server doesn't work. Right shift and oh gosh, okay. No, uh, what we're trying to do is get the uh, chat board up on a big screen here in the room so that Thomas can see your uh, questions immediately. We're still recording. We're just um, working on a display issue here inside the conference room. Yeah, before we had it up, for some reason now we're going to get it So let's do something from the subnet. Yes. Whatever. What's by hand? IP address. That's local IP address. No, it's not. Just just look at this. The subnet is 0 0.2. Mm -hmm. And Hypervista has subnet 2 point and so, something like that. Yes. So probably DHCP is configured to... Oh gosh, I don't know Windows, please help me. So, cheers. <laughs> Right. 
Co tak nevíte, v čem to je, nebo jak? Takže když jde o vojenský celou je Baldur Questions to Tomáš. You can answer them, you can read them and you can answer them here. We don't need a very common. Ok, so I will read some questions. So, what were the questions? Fuck! Well, uh, just wait. Uh, let's just go ahead. Uh, it was from Silver32. I see there is a Titan OS exe in Titan OS executable. Uh, was it loaded from Valve mode of DOS? You? Yes, it's, there were two versions. One that was booting from Flappy, and the second one that I could just launch from DOS. And it was faster for testing. That answers all the second questions. Uh, and seems to be like everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Any more questions? Oh, uh, is the system still developed? Uh, no, no, no the, the, the right one. Let's just abandon this, guys. And just the system is no longer continued because I lost the source. And you are almost as bad at writing stride as for Darius. You know writing stride. <laughs> what we have here more. Mm, now the net is, is working here. Yes? Yeah. Right. You can use it. Okay. I think that's everything. If anyone has a question. Oh. Okay, uh, could, could you uh, press enter the website? Thomas, press enter. Seal back. Thanks, you. For oh, answering. because you have to mm -hmm. you have to use it by name. What's the, the DNS name of the server? www. Hypervista. Oh, yeah, this server. DNS. Hypervista. Oh, wow. Hi. Technologies, yeah? Uh, hyphen technologies.com. Uh, uh, no, 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 Uh, could, you, could you repeat the last page? Well, I was I was was I 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 went back to the previous page because I need to start some arrow from here and <laughs> continue it here. <laughs> Based on flat editor that was the text mode editor for the Python operating system, I wrote this as an edit control for Windows. And from it, it was assembler workplace program. It was the first official editor for Windows for Flat Assembler. It was NBI. You have to take a better ride. And few more important steps that in 2002 it was passed 137. It had 
first Linux bar. Did you have a modular part which is all operating system specific before? Or did you, did you have a part which deals with operating system separately before? It was from the very start because it yes. was made this way for the Titan operating yes. system and DOS. Yes, of course. And so it was first version for Linux uh, when there was no even ELF output. It was constructed manually in binary format. Mm -hmm. Oh, and in the same year, there came pass one for one. Why doesn't help the locations on this? Sorry, too much. Elf help has locations, no? It has two variants: one with locations no. object one and executable. Yes, I was afraid he was building the locations by hand. Really, the hero. Hero. So this was your. There was a first version of FASMW, which was derived from the assembler workplace, which goes back to the flat editor for Titan OS. So many shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts are, are working the same as they were working in main editor for Python OS, still in Python W. You had the editor preserved or you mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I had it, it was even downloadable from internet for some time mm -hmm. at the days of Plasma Zero, but it's no longer available, but I had it somewhere. Yeah. There's a question from Folder. Do you use any source control, a version control like CBS or SVN? No, I'm the only one person who does any modifications, so it's not needed. In the meantime, I got the Titan God on SAP forum on board Win 32S community. At this time, it started to gain popularity. When it was discussed on this board, the many new users were coming. And we soon moved to our own. It was at the time at the source force uh, server for a short time because we soon moved to the one we are using now. I got feedback from about maybe 10 people. Yeah. 
those were uh, like scientific accomplishments and these or no. I know they were with board from beginning. All of them I started to know later. Mm. I, I remember I started using Tesla when it was a board. What was the board created? Oh, oh, three. Mm, which one? So uh, in uh, summer two oh oh three, the board. Oh, right. <laughs> uh -huh. Any board was there since the beginning uh, of the site? Yes, since because of the site you it, had it the was board. moved from the source board. Oh, so like you have you had board there? It was fast source forge slash forum because the old address I assume source function X is still working it's mm -hmm. uh, there is only link from the site yeah. and then uh, one here archive of the old version it's not Reverend has a question there. Well, that's not totally true because that uh, real mode was used for this version, but not the very first one, which was using standard. But it was using flat memory model, and there was no any kind of segmentation of generated code and still there is none. Everything is generated like exactly in the order of how it is in the source and this is this kind of flatness. But you got symbols relative to other symbols and oh, this is how you fake <laughs> segmentation. Yes. And macro instructions. Mm -hmm. I mean in sections or segments in MZ. I'm not sure here. Uh, symbols defined inside section of segment are relative to its beginning or how is it? Mm, for segment it's true, for section not necessary. It mm -hmm. depends on formats. Yes. From, for object format it's related to the beginning of section and for Windows executables it's not. Oh, and just some more important releases. One forty-three was the first with L. Oh, no. And the last year, it was the important release. It's 64 bits. Mm -hmm. I think removing fix was very uh, old fix behavior. And mm -hmm. yes, using backslash was important. <laughs> really. But it was important if we put you some mm -hmm. some but it was still some of the features here. Yes. I focus him on the something visible to the people from outside yes. and uh, this kind of it was kind of, uh, together with 64 it's a hard new fix and the text was this big it was what page on 64 uh, 6 was the first with long mode code and 64 was the first with uh, B B yes B Ah. And the so, like Reverend, there's one question. There is the future to come. For the biggest increase in the popularity, then 
the first boost in popularity was uh, here in class the third that board, whole board. And the second boost was uh, at the days of the new forum. It's, it's like till now. I remember finding the old programmers have one. The oh. And at that time, I don't know, it was like the old time ago. Maybe two or two. That was on the previous. <laughs> And you did this propagation in positive in all servers like programmers have on. Those releases, those main programmers have them and yes. no, they got a few bits. <laughs> <laughs> and also since it got listed in the free DOS, it's uh, there till today. Fridos is the DOS using Linux kernel or Fridos project? It's just a, a free rewrite of DOS. 16 bit code and so? Pretty good bit or what's that? Kind of mix. There are different versions. Yes. There are three more questions. <laughs> Fast. There is one thing I am sure for now that we are going to, I am going to add the uh, outputting of the symbolic information, the ARM format that I am designing now, and then we can with it to make some converters from this fast own format into other NAND formats. This is most important for now. As for the FASM2, there is no any strict plan. I have some ideas, but uh, you can be sure that FAS2 would be completely incompatible with FAS1. So it won't be a version that is going to replace FAS1. It may be uh, some alternative, but it's not going to replace it. My eye to the future, um, you could think about defining clear borders between your modules this in your source so people can replace your uh, preprocessor or reuse it in their stuff or something like that do you think it would be possible or? it is possible like you, you know, said, uh, every time when I get back to writing the Python guide to internals each time I write something new there I also do many corrections to the source to make it more understandable. Understandable. And so, if I come back to continue with this document, uh, I think I will also clean up the source once again. Mm. Because I clean it up, and then when I add new features and new you versions, I, it's going to mess once you again. Ma <laughs> you mentioned revolutions of testing for time uh, was not so clean. Changing of modules. It was just replacing x86 assembly module with ARM assembly module but you mentioned somewhere that it wasn't that clear yes because he needed to change to change some other places because ARM is so different that it like could, not, could not be made so easily like what? oh I don't recall that it's oh well, you had the emperor I remember which you were using from my cross uh, something in parser mm -hmm. I'm sure it was something so, it might be use of uh, braces which are used for macro beginning and then these are just instructions. Yes. But uh, generally, you can replace a single module but another one. No problem. Mm, you might think about separating uh, directives and at least in source, you know, directives and instructions. Mm, it's already done. Not there's no sharp border lines yes. between them, but it's already there is a separation. Mm. 
but there is a problem also with formatter with this. It's not really completely separate from the It's mixed with the same And they are best to parser are in your uh, format where uh, which is the stream of symbols. Yes, it's not the text. It's not the question from Marcello Sabino. Uh, <laughs> from, uh, there, there were there's some. Uh, there's one more from Fuder. From Fuder. Oh, yeah, that's right. Fuder. <laughs> from Tobias. Fuder. 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 Well, <laughs> you can find an explanation for the reason why I moved on that board. When I wrote my final, a <laughs> kind of final post, when I uh, invited people to join my new board, I wrote a reason why we were moving. Yes, that's a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> But I still believe it could be implemented. It would be not very clean to understand it, but I know the problem with implementing it. You mentioned some cosmetic stuff like with implementing it on macros. The idea of problem is something we are processing the same line multiple times. So something like this, but you think it would No, no not with not Taking the weakness of it into account, would it it's, be? It just doesn't fit into my. <laughs> yes, uh, I yeah, understand that, but the, it could the be that it. The Reverend is asking right now <laughs> <laughs> about. Yes, I understand that, but it could be implemented. But, uh, would it be a problem to add something like that? Well, not that much problem. It is possible, but it would be much work. Yeah, work and work. Some people see priorities or yes, priorities and going once again to the same level. That will be common. What's the problem with it? There are internals that are not adapted for it this way. It was a completely different way of thinking, but I was right with this. So you would just have to write some routines anew, completely anew. Yes. It's not compatible with this way of thinking that I used when I implemented the parameters. I, I can imagine how would you place parameters that this is a problem. And the second one thing to I plan for sure to be added in the future is make our format is over. This is plus. <laughs> What's the name of the format comes from? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, what's that? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. This is one of the Macintosh. Oh, yes. Oh, the current each state is processing as well. By the way, did you notice that uh, your PD formatter is almost usable for SFI? time? Even uh, Revolution didn't know uh, with minimal changes. There are some things which have to be present on the and, and so it has proved that it is really in some way portable. <laughs> <laughs> in some strange way. way. <laughs> Did you think about uh, implementing several the weird types of uh, relocations in P? You know, not only type 3, which is relocation double but it's possible because I already started this for ELF. Okay. They got an PLT. Well, Windows is not really the best idea because <laughs> except Windows, all well, their nothing supports types about three. This 
and I, I have been rewriting a uh, PQ loader from uh, Windows PQ loader from instance it's called to run code and uh, real, some relocations on the code for them is really strange uh, about three four pages ago so I have no idea what they can do and they decipher it <laughs> there are many more questions Here, start it. Don't get me that. Okay, I will score for it. <laughs> You're making it hard for me. Here, start it. <laughs> so just do work with Passman as a hobby of it, as a part of the world. But, uh, I was considered those already answered. History, so if there will be no more questions, I can finish my part. Macho format is like what? E or? Are they ro uh, it's like a robot form? <laughs> From those formats, it's most similar to that. But it's still different. I don't know how to do it. Uh, they have in common that uh, both Elf and Neko can be object or executable. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All with much sense for object. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a question. Shall I just say once again <laughs> that Exit M is completely incompatible with has a vision of macros?
Well, if you want just to do it, like not instruction, you might want Because he wrote the high level syntax like here. What do you think about the high level assembly? Like? <laughs> Have you seen it on the beginning? I mean, the high thing. No, no, no. No other high level assembly that's my own high computer. <laughs> Besides Hessen, he's which? It was too good for me. It had an uh, ideal mold there. I didn't use it very much. It was something like Hessen or Nesson syntax, where braces are always memory. Yes, yes. Hessen was more following ideal mold than Nesson because uh, it, there was size checking. Yes. Nesson doesn't do it. Then Nesson doesn't have any is a multi-pass multi-pass Should I open the reference? Or what? We will use it. I think we can change it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 We can have then later time for free questions because some of the questions are not really related to the topic of yes. Yeah.